to Prince Albert. We're so happy that you made this one of your spots. And the stories we just heard about the kindness and generosity of Prince Albert is not new to us here. This town is a friendly town, a very generous town, and we welcome people in a big way. And uh, we're delighted to have you here. And I hope uh, your stay here is very good. Uh, I just today came from uh, giving awards at the Sportsman Annual Award Dinner to the Sportsman of the Year and the Athlete of the Year. And that's a big honor. It was an honor for me to be able to, uh, to present those. Dave Manson, who we all know, and Kelly Gard is a uh, um, PA youth that plays in uh, with the Tolan Rockets. But this is even greater. You get someone like Christopher here, who's gone out on an adventure to raise awareness for organ donation, and take the time in his life and go out and uh, do this walk. I mean, he's not doing it for himself, he's doing it for everyone that needs organs. And he's out there raising awareness. And I think we need to learn by what he's doing here. If he can take on what he's doing, I think we need to learn here that Canada is much lower than the States when it comes to organ donations. And we know we get those things on the driver's license, and I think we've got to start signing because it's tragic if someone loses their life. But if that can help another one live, you know, there's a as you say, there's a silver lining right here, a cloud. So it certainly got me thinking about it. And when a young person like this takes something like this on, it's incredible. I admire your courage and your strength to do something like this. And in the meantime, he himself is fighting, hoping to get a little soon so that he can continue to live. And uh, to come out with all these obstacles on you and perform like he is, it just shows uh, the courage of that young man. And uh, you have my admiration, and, and I'm sure I can speak for everyone here. You have our ad admiration, and I wish you well in the near future. I hope that your river comes through soon so that you can continue on with life. And I, and I feel good. I believe it's going to happen. You know, it's, it's a day by day wait. And uh, I, I have a family member and cousin that went through the same thing some years ago. And I know it's like on the family and the individual. And uh, things work out for him. Again, good luck, and uh, we'll be watching you. You've you got your website. We'll be keeping an eye on how your progress goes, uh, and uh, we'll be there with you with our prayers and our thoughts. With the so again, welcome. And uh, next, I'd like to say, uh, Trina, I think she has a little something here. Or Joe, I'm sorry, I think Joe has a presentation for us. And this is from the staff at City Hall. So don't worry, come forward for the presentation. Thanks, Mayor Stiglitz. Uh, Christopher, uh, my presentation is to you on behalf of the uh, administration staff uh, the, through the City of Prince Albert. Um, through our dress down for charity uh, donations, we, uh, the, the staff that participates in this contributes uh, on each pay period, uh, a few dollars to go towards uh, very worthy causes like your own. And uh, so it is with, uh, with our pleasure, uh, uh, a donation, we're pleased to give you a donation of $200 towards your very worthy cause. to do the same. I think we have a good class here. This guy can put in what he's doing. I'm sure we can help a little bit here, but uh, that'll be a challenge, uh, and I hope uh, we follow through. Uh, I also have a couple other things here for Christopher. First thing is, we have a, uh, we have a certificate of special recognition. City of Prince Albert. The City of Prince Albert in recognition of his outstanding contributions to work and additional donation awareness throughout Canada presents this certificate to Christopher Knowles, signed by myself. And uh, this would like to thank you. And we also have our, I don't know if you knew this, it's our 100th anniversary in Prince Albert here. We're 100 years old this year. We came on board in 2004. We have a shirt for you and a centennial pit. I hope you wear a long way. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you very much, Mayor. Um, during my walk across
across Canada, I uh, made a stop in uh, Sarnia, and uh, this was in uh, four, four years ago, year 2000, July 2000. And as I entered Sarnia, I, I met this 10-year-old uh, boy that had this big smile on his face, and he wanted to carry the torch that he carried today across his city. And he carried it uh, through his city with a smile on his face, through, all the way through. And there was no indication whatsoever that anything was wrong with this uh, young boy. At the end of the day, he lifted up his shirt and showed me all the scars on his stomach and told me that he was on the waiting list for almost his whole life, waiting for a liver transplant, a liver donation. And he said this with a big smile on his face. As I was making my, as I was completing my campaign, two years later, I made a final stop in Sarnia. And again, Christopher was there. Again, he had this big smile on his face. There was every indication to believe that he had received his uh, liver, because he was so cheerful. And sadly, again, he told me that he was still on the waiting list. But he expressed a wish to me. His wish was to carry the torch across Canada. And at the time that he, he told me, I thought, this, this isn't possible. Because he's, he's on the waiting list. You know, he's, he's, he's got a serious, deadly disease. And how, how can we possibly arrange this? I have never met a more persistent human being in my life because he was emailing me every day and he was determined as heck to do this walk. And after finding support from his family, that they were behind it, uh, his doctors, his school, practically the whole community because they knew what kind of character he had, I agreed to be his road manager. And on January the 8th, we began his campaign called Christopher's Wish. And Christopher's Wish is he wants to save nearly 4,000 Canadians on the waiting list. That's not an easy task. He's trying to inspire every Canadian to become an organ donor, and he's doing that. But what still needs to be done is we need our government to hear this loud and clear that this issue has to be the most important because there's a potential to save all 4,000 people. But they have to acknowledge that this issue has to be the most important one on the agenda. And that's what Christopher, he's pleading right now with the Prime Minister and all the candidates that are going to be running for the top job to make this a hot issue. And it, he gets his way. He gets his way. So he's determined to save all 4,000 Canadians, and that's got to be a good reason to support him. Please welcome Christopher Knowles. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my uh, road team. Uh, on my uh, right, uh, road manager George Marchell. Back wearing the orange, a uh, documentary person from the director making a movie on me, Ronald Roberts. Uh, that was said that uh, my dad slash driver, Kelly Knowles. Hi, my name is Christopher Knowles. I'm 14 years old. I've been waiting for a liver my whole life. The disease that caused me needing a liver is called biliary atresia. It is a common disease among infants. Most infants die shortly after birth. So far, I've been fortunate enough to still be alive. I've been in and out of the hospital most of my life. I've had over 20 operations that saved my life. I'm doing this walk to bring awareness to the shortage of organ and tissue needed. That's why I thought to myself that there is a way to save people's lives. And if I save a lot of lives, it makes us all worthwhile. That's why I'm walking across Canada to save the 4,000